Hello there and welcome back yet to a, another episode in our short and mini series. Uh, still on update 4, I know update 5 has been out but I think uh, I'm really hopeful that we can jump on the update 5 soon as well. So what has happened is I've let this game run for quite a bit of time. Yep, it's, it's not been too short of a time that has passed since the last episode but, but essentially we have built up this area of our new bot, bot production. Yeah, so all these side platforms, each of them took, how many did it take? 30 metal pieces, so, and there is a ton of them here. So now that it's done, we're pretty happy. We have a bit of metal production activated here as well. I think uh, four to be exact. And then um, I've also brought over the wood workshops as well. So now what we can do is let's have a look at our uh, storages, you know, it, it's still really low. Like, I think we have fixed pretty much everything. We've got treated planks. We've got uh, a bit of scrap coming in. Yeah, as we said in the end of last episode, I think uh, scrap was kind of what we were struggling with. But essentially, yeah, so that's that area is starting to look much better. Until we sort out our uh, scrap is issues, I think let's go through a few other changes as well. So... Uh, next, we um, I think we have a pretty healthy number of bots now. I wanted to make them even faster and better so we are producing catalyst. But that we need uh, maple syrup and sunflower seeds. So maple syrup we had, I believe, quite a lot. Yeah, well, healthy amount. Whereas sunflower seeds, that was something we never, never quite had enough because all the beavers want to eat them in their free time as well. So what I have done is... Just a quick little fix over here, added tons of uh, sunflower uh, sort of farming plots here with a few beehives as well and two efficient farmhouses. So there's three pots in this one, three beavers in this one, one set to harvest, the other one is planting and uh, yeah, our, where is it? Our sunflower seed storage is pretty, pretty much full already. I mean, it is full, yeah. Okay, so that's lovely. Now, next update, well, sorry, before we move on, so yeah, uh, this is running pretty pretty nicely here. Catalyst is moving in, out, and everywhere. Cool. Next update over here, yeah, we talked about for quite some time, it's the batteries, I've put a few here. They did take quite a few pieces of metal, so in hindsight, maybe we shouldn't have built them, but oh well, at least this area is pretty self-sufficient now. I mean, at least with the trouts that we have in on the normal mode so 18,000 hamster power and we have one two three four five of them yeah I think things are good then um, you know whilst I was waiting for everything to be constructed over here and all the metal to be uh, refined I was just casually you know looking around the colony as well and yeah I'm really sorry but I just sometimes you know you start improving the efficiencies and I thought to myself okay well whilst I'm waiting why don't we construct those underground piles over here? So that's exactly what we have done. There's two of them here and they're holding logs. So uh, yeah, we just built the levee wall around it, pumped out the water, just like how we did it in the previous uh, metal scrapping station. And then um, built some platforms or the side platforms over it and a few extra stations for uh, making the blanks as well. And yeah, I think we can be pretty uh, happy with this zone here. I I'd say it's close to uh, functional completion if that makes any sense we can always build up on it uh, I, I guess it's also in some ways a bit modular we can sort of copy it to, to this side as well and really expand it the way we would like to do it okay now over here nothing major just added a bit of bit more access for the beavers in case we need to sort of overtake this zone here as well but right now yeah I think it's fine then at the top of the hill here, I think we were a little short on the pine resin at some point when we were making, I think it was the tree the planks. So I added another forester here, well, two of them to be exact. And then we got a tapper shack here as well, but you seem to be full and I don't think we're planting any more trees here. So you guys can be paused as well. All right. Now, whilst we were waiting for this one to be constructed here, the beavers actually accidentally completed everything in here yep all the water wheels uh, let me just hide the water real quick as well and all the levees and then um I'll, i'm not even kidding at some point i think the wall and everything was like 60 percent done when i when i realized 
uh, it was all set, uh, set on low priority but yeah it was 60% uh, done so I was like well I'm not gonna go and pause every single piece of those things um, one by one anyway so they might as well complete it and so they have the yes it's not very efficient right now because the water is flowing towards this side as well so I was sort of contemplating whether we um, put some uh, what is it the platforms the two high platforms here and we can do a, another row of the water wheels or we just levy it shut so uh, but then it would kind of look a little weird over here as well so yeah not really sure what to do with this this section here oh hold on a second let's put it on three times the speed as well my apologies okay so that was quite a quite a few few upgrades we've we've done now in this region yeah nothing major just added a few more water wheels to ensure that during uh, when the windmills aren't working uh, just to ensure we have enough power as well but it seems things are good well i guess we'll see how it is going to be during trout but yeah you know i think our blank stockpiles are pretty healthy now as well so it's uh, it's, it's not too bad and in here thought we'll try and improve their well-being a little bit and give them some carrots as well there's only well there's actually three of them here so i mean we can probably always reduce it to two as well let's let's do that actually for the time being okay now this zone here is fine and what is going on here well i'm glad you asked this is the solution for our scrap metal problem again it's taken a very long time because all this had to be constructed piece by piece but um yeah let's do another where is it so metal mine and this one is gonna go right like so we'll get those water pumps done clean it up and then uh, hopefully by the time this is done let's see prioritize oh yeah we probably want the uh, bots to be running the show over here okay there we go let's get the water out then we get some more uh, scrap metal and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna export it from here all the way to our metal zone oh wow so that's quite a few upgrades so far now you may ask what is the focus in this episode i think there's two things i'd like to talk about well one is um definitely okay now that i think about it there's even more than th two things so it's the well-being it's terraforming and it's the continuation of this series i think there's some uh, darker clouds approaching us uh, but okay so let's start with terraforming that should be pretty um pretty easy right so let's go to landscaping right so we already have the explosives factory that's the one i had to create off the uh, uh between the episodes just to make sure we get the, this zone done over here with the with the logs and the storages and all that so with the uh, dirt excavator let's have a look it's like 50 metal treated planks and some gears as well now the location where i'd like to do it is actually right over here now with this zone i'm not entirely sure how we want to or where we want to build and to be fair if we want to continue the aesthetics that we have right now then that means a lot more metal that needs to be used for those side platforms as well so um, yeah that might not be the best option uh, so this leaves us with this zone here now i have some plans with this little pool i believe that is the only pool uh, besides this one and this one we've already kind of overtaken and well what i was looking for is the uh, water sources i'd like to turn this since it is the highest mountain we already have as well i kind of feel like i'd like to turn this into i think it was kuist or i'm really sorry i forgot who it was but uh, one of you guys and girls suggested that we should definitely have some waterfalls i'll have to go back on the uh, the comments and the episodes to see whose uh, idea it was but uh so yeah i'm thinking to first uh, take some dirt out of this zone and then put some uh, put all this dirt that we we dug out straight in in here and turn this into a bit of like a volcanic mountain yeah so it's uh if we get to do the beaver venice here in the Colosseum, and then we have the the big volcanic mountain here as well then i think that would certainly be pretty interesting so now how are we gonna do it we're gonna need to pull some power here as well so that's probably gonna come from here actually never mind i don't think we have to worry about it too much do we 
No. So you'll go here, these guys here, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll just unlock you and let's have a look how big you are. Okay. Wow. Yep, that is uh, that is quite a chunker. Um, <laughs> right, so what we can do is let's place you here like so. Now, how are we going to pull power? I think we can have like two of them running, right? So since the water is running out from here... Hmm. Okay, we might not want to cut down this in here. In case we want to turn this into some sort of a channel, right? Okay. So you can go here. Let's have a look. Let's do one over here. We might not need any more. What we need to figure out now is how to bring the power. Okay, so that goes from the the bottom level. Then this goes through here. Okay, well, I think it's not a big problem, is it? Yeah, let's build um, two of you guys over here. Okay. Then them two. Yeah, I think... We sort of know what we're doing here, don't we? Kind of. And then this one here. We're gonna pause you for a second, just to make sure. Okay. Highest priority. You as well. And there we go. I mean, technically we don't really need these sections until we figure out what else we want to do here. And then... Hmm... I suppose eventually we do want to cross over. So, let's... Um, yeah, I think this could work. Okay. Everything has the highest priority. That's where it goes. And, oh dear. Yep. There is one more thing we need. So, And that is the terraforming station. Okay, we'll unlock you real quick as well. You're also fairly... Sizable. Now, do you need power? No, you don't. You are going to take two or four pots, actually. And... <laughs> do you know what? I think we'll be fine. Let's not uh, stress too much about the... Or over the layout right now. Okay, so you can go somewhere like there. And then one triple one. I think we are going to have to move this road around. Here you go. And then that road comes out... Rearrange them a little bit. Okay. I think we are alright. And as soon as we get the resources in that one as well. You guys are moving over. Okay, I see. It probably should give you the access first. Before locking. Oh, never mind. These things are being built so quickly. Okay. Lovely. Get the last of the shafts done as well. And then all we have is a few platforms. And voila. There we go. Is anyone taking down the tree? Almost. This means we can, any second from now, take your time. Ah, uh, he's probably going to run away, isn't he? No, I reckon he's going to be done with the jump before the... Oh, no. Never mind. We never lost faith in you. Okay, so the next thing we need is this station here. Um, doesn't matter which way it faces. Here we go. Metal and three the planks that... He's going to take a lot of 3D planks, isn't it? We have about... Oh, wow. We don't have a lot at all. This wasn't going to be like the area where, where we want to treat the planks. But um, <laughs> I'm thinking... I would like to build a few more of you guys. Okay. So planks we are bringing in from there and there. Um, <laughs> okay. We don't have the metal. If we had the metal, I would create the treated blank producing station right on the other side. Or actually, I will leave this area for a few more warehouses, perhaps. Uh, hmm, okay, do we need more of you guys? Maybe. There's two over there, and I believe we have like three over here, don't we? Yes, we do. So that means we have a total of five, and that is quite a lot. Okay, we can do another one. So let's get rid of the explosives factory. What are you going to take? 
Okay, no metal. We are happy with that. Let's just give these ones... Oh, never mind. They've already taken them out. Okay, power is not the best here, of course. There's no wind, there's no water movement, but that's almost done. The drought, I mean. Okay, so the terraforming station, let's have a quick look. That is... well, we got the platforms completed, so in theory they should be bringing in the resources very quickly. Same with the terraforming station itself as well. Wait. Uh, oh, the excavator. Sorry, yeah. Okay, there we go. And, um, oh, what is this liquid? That is maple syrup. That looks like lava or something else. Maybe like carrot juice. Uh, right, so what's happening here? You're complaining. Oh, of course. You guys need to be uh, lowered, don't you? Right. Let's um, take all of you out. Here we go. And another few... Alright, just like so. Let's make sure you are all bots as well. Another two levels down and we are already a little bit closer to some extra scrap metal. I mean, to be honest, right now the levels seem to be pretty good actually. Since we have a few spare beavers, open another smelter. Yeah, not sure where you guys are going. Some of you are still very thirsty and hungry. Oh yeah, that's because... The distances are a little too long. Okay, so we are working towards the terraforming. And next priority was a bit of well-being. So let's have a look. You guys are massive. Oh, the Fountain of Joy. So if this needs access to water. Okay, this could be really cool like in the middle of the town. Let's have a look at this one first. Okay, pretty, pretty healthy distance and range, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So I reckon if we plop you somewhere here, you guys should be pretty uh, pretty happy then, right? Okay. All right, there we go. Platforms in the beaver. I think it will be pretty cool if we were facing this way, so that way they can all see the smiley face and the thumbs up every time they visit those rooftop terraces and the restaurants here. Okay, what's our next thing? 3,000... Beaver points. 400 blanks. And we get a beaver that's sitting on a bowl. Or a platform. With two little kiddos. Aww. Okay, that is pretty adorable. So how about this is like the... The, the place with the statues. Oh yeah, we can do another one that's kind of facing towards them. How cute is this? Okay. Lovely. So it shouldn't take too long to construct these ones. Maybe we'll... No, it doesn't need the highest of priorities. We've got tons of beavers available, I believe. Yep, nothing's closed. Nope. It's all running. Wood workshop, that's running now as well. Now the next monument we have over here is the Fountain of Joy. Uh, 300 metal, so no thank you. However, let's see. Let's check the well-being as well. There's quite a few things we have still not built for the beavers. Oh yeah, I've added a few more showers as well, just at the back of the, the housing estates and the uh, the warehouses here. So hopefully, you know, they get a bit of privacy, but probably not enough. Anyways, okay, the little, let's unlock you as well. You're also fairly big, aren't you? How about the, we turn this area into more of like a, hmm kind of like a spa so there's swimming pools there's showers maybe they get some like saunas as well uh the mud bath bubble baths and you know jacuzzis uh, you require dirt hold on a second let's uh pause their well-being for a little little while okay so that's working i think well at least it was do we need you guys in here? I, I don't think we need you here just yet. So, the rain blocks. We are going to have to store the dirt somewhere. And I am assuming... Let's do some platforms over here. Because uh, we don't want to build uh, that stuff too far. Okay, so... <laughs> right. I'm assuming we are going to get quite a lot of dirt that we need to store. Okay, so there goes the well-being as well. Wow, it's actually... 
Gone from 17 to 24. Talk about a boost to the life qualities over here. Okay, a few more platforms out here, okay. Always a struggle, aren't they? So you can go here, another triple one. And yeah, I think that's where we can do a storage house. Oh, 25, okay. Yeah, you are all very welcome. Let's see if we plop you here. Is that the one that takes the dirt? Yes, it is. So now that we do have the dirt, I think it will allow us to evolve into some better, better crops. So initially what I was thinking, I'd like to flatten out uh, some more areas. So I'd really like to do some more farming, especially the, uh, or specifically the water plants farming around this zone here. I mean, our access, yes, it is not the, the best, of course. I mean, we do have a few roads coming, and if we cut through here, we'd get straight down, uh, straight into this zone. I could also introduce a few additional roads through here as well, link them up. Yeah, good work, I suppose. How about we bring those roads through here so we disturb the least amount of nature yeah that could also be a very good option isn't it now I don't want to be building a ton of platforms only all the time so and well you look at that don't have to remove any trees so I suppose we can be pretty happy with that okay now we do have to remove a few trees from here though They've not been harvesting at all, so they can go as well. We'll plop down another bridge, and then we shall start climbing down. I don't really know if we need another district over here. I mean, it's safe to assume that yes, of course, we're going to need one. However, I guess we'll, we'll live and see. Alright, few roads through just like so as well. And yeah, so we can leave you guys be. The terraforming station is operational again, which is lovely. Don't think it's gonna stay on for uh, for too long, but let's just leave you for uh, for a few seconds and go back to the well-being. Right, so over here we still have to construct a few lidos and a temple as well. Let's not open it just yet. And while well, carousel we can do a little bit later. Healer we have, and then a few mod paths since we do have the dirt already. Okay, so we've got a bit of a zone here. I think in the long run, yep. Those gear workshops can probably go because we are producing the gears over there. So let's build out a tiny little relaxation zone for the beavers here. Okay, so I believe we do have a bit of a bit of an idea how we want things to be around here. Okay, so first of all, what is happening? Um, <laughs> right, those plants can be constructed first. Then let's have a look. So I had to quickly delete one of the mod paths because the pots were getting kind of stuck over here for some reason. But anyways, yeah, so... Uh, okay, everything's in the way, isn't it? But I have to do everything one by one, starting from the furthest due to the complicated design that we have going for us over here. Okay, right, we have four mod paths. The power is connected from underneath, there's a few wires running right over there, I think you should be able to see them. We should probably stress test this system as well before we let the beavers in, so um, <laughs> we shall connect the first mod path. Uh, then right like so, we'd like to keep this area as green as possible, so it's perhaps kind of like those hot springs in, in Japan where you can go during winter as well. Well, obviously they're not so green during winter, but uh, at least there's some you know, natural beauty and vegetation around, so yeah, it should be a nice little, little uh, zen stone for our beavers. So we've got the showers already at the back over there. I wanted to add a couple more as well. And again, just uh, spam the shrubs to um, use them as decorations, uh, create a bit of privacy for them as well, just a tiny bit. And then we do the swimming pools right at the back over here. I'm still trying to kind of figure out if we can uh, first, let's grab one of these ones. There we go. Do a few more swimming pools. Maybe around here. Yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt. I mean, 
especially during evening times if we have only two littles for like 150 beavis then this might not be enough what's happening over here building needs power to operate okay so i guess we've figured something else out or we've learned something uh, <laughs> okay so first of all let's remove you it seems we can't just plug in the power from underneath unfortunately okay that means you are pretty useless same with those ones we're gonna have to make some rearrangements perhaps okay few levels down what's happening here okay so that's the intersection oh you can't go up either ah you guys are annoying okay anyways i think we're okay uh, this one seems like we're gonna have to delete a few more things over here okay so that's the universal you're gonna go on top of it and we probably need the smallest platform okay there we go so that means power is gonna go into that one now um don't need those things but but we can't delete them either yeah so we can probably just leave it yeah it's not gonna hurt anyone if it's still there that's fine no one's gonna see it anyways and then we need the power here this one as well and now we can do the path okay well that's good to know so that means same so that means same over here all of these ones well we can keep them but they're not going to be very useful platforms can go a ah, bit of a shame okay so why don't we recoup the some of the resources i don't think we need them but just for good practice Okay, here we go. That goes there. Now we can do the power wires. And okay. How about the section over here? Do we have to bring it up? Or maybe we can just connect it the same way how we did it before. Okay, all we need is a couple of platforms. There you go. And you can connect from the front, can't you? Alright, ladders can go as well. And now we're just going to have to give them a little bit of time. The two main things we wanted to do in this episode. One is the dirt. So that's going pretty nicely. They've completed the, the access points here as well. Lovely. Now let's place a road here. Okay, we've got the stairs. And I'm guessing... Oh yeah. There's not enough space. So, okay. Here is another thing where we should really just change up how we approach this zone now i don't want to lose all this area with the trees because it seems it's a good amount of trees for one gatherer to look after yeah so the roads could be outside okay how high are you this seems to be okay uh no we don't need all of them all right and and then okay we can lose a little bit here connect it up and then we have a direct route to get the dirt all right so now we got the rest of the roads all connected as well i mean in this gap over here we can leave it or we can just put a couple a couple gatherers over here instead right so the reason why we are doing this is to start figuring out how we can do the water crop so it was brought to my attention and thank you very much for mentioning it before Water crops can only grow in uh, one tile of water. This one here is two. So, yeah, that would have been a very embarrassing situation if if we uh, were not very kindly reminded of this fact. But okay, so that means we can probably put the pots back into the terraforming station here. And then start building up this area, can't we? Oh no, actually, never mind. We don't want them to run all the way around. So let's wait for this section here to be completed first. Now with their well-being, is that a slightly higher priority? Well, they have... Hold on a second. Now, why do we not have any power in here? Something is not working. Okay. This tower... Oh... Hold on a second. Is there a 
platform oh there is a platform on top of it for some reason right so we're gonna have to figure out what's going on here let's remove this building for a second we can see that is it this one that's a bit faulty with the rubble we got a vertical power shaft oh yeah so somehow hmm I'm not really sure what happened here there we go so there's a vertical this one can go here maybe rubble get rid of this one a little bit quicker and then let, let's see what happens. We got the shafts in and hopefully the power is gonna, you know, stop working as soon as this building is done as well. All right, and there we go. So that marks the end of our little project to make this space a little bit greener. Well, I guess that wasn't really our our aim, but uh, it's, a, it's a lovely little side effect. Ooh, we've missed a couple of uh, shrubs over here, but that's okay. So yeah, we got, uh, what is it? Four littles, five littles over here, four moth paths, and a ton of uh, showers nicely tucked away behind their housing estate. Their well-being has already gone up to 28, which is lovely as we as we have some books being produced over here. And um, and yeah, we're, we'd also like to place down the the temple as well, but we're, we're just going to have to relocate some of those large windmills. I'd like to keep all the entertainment as close as possible to, to the beavers. Now, we also noticed that they, um, <laughs> they didn't have quite enough campfires. So that's the next thing we can fix here pretty quickly and easily. The question is, which way should we place it in the future? We could do another one here as well. Oh yeah, that could be two of them. So let's just uh, change it up a tiny bit. So these roads can go as well. Let's take them all out. This road isn't needed because they can run through the uh, through our district center. And, okay, almost. Close enough. Here we go. That's another two campfires for all of our beavers. So I think it might bring it up to maybe, maybe like 27, 28, maybe 29 actually. Uh, right now, yes, we are struggling with electricity a little bit. But that's because it is still the drought season officially. And, um, yeah... Once we get some batteries here as well, maybe things will improve or if we connect it to our our workstation area. Okay, so quick look over here as well before we close the episode. Seems this is the last of the levels. We are very close to unflooding this bit over here. Okay, what's going on? Oh yeah, it is a bot, but you are... Okay, you're out of the station, so that's okay. So something else we should quickly, quickly cover... We briefly mentioned this in the last episode, or towards the end of it. Now, before starting to record this episode, I was trying to figure out this sort of twitching problem that we have with uh, all the, or most of the decoration uh, objects. So, as you can see, it um, shows that the, the, the little piece over here, what is it, inverted trapezium is over here, but actually, it's somewhere over there. So, oh, don't construct this, no, we're, we're not building it, don't worry. So um, yeah, I had a look at the other pieces as well, and a lot of them have the same issue. So I thought, okay, let's then try and update a few mods. Uh, I went through them, I spent, I'm not even kidding, three hours because things were breaking. I mean, my game and all the mods that I have are updated. I think they were actually updated last from like, a, like a, almost a year ago, about 200, 250 days ago. So yeah, trying to figure out which mode works with which one. Um, I, I could not, for the life of me, I could not figure out which ones I need um, to install to get them to work properly. Because yeah, everything is like having like a seizure over here or, or jumping around. So yeah, uh, what this means essentially, uh, it was first, firstly, it was very painful to go through this and spend three hours trying to figure out what's going on and the game not launching and then certain things not working and it all just breaking down. Um, when I finally got to this sort of stable uh, state, I was pretty happy that I can return to the colony and record another video. And so, yeah, what, what this again, uh, what I was trying to say is this means that it's going to be impossible to build Beaver Venice Colosseum or anything else for this matter. So I'll have to do a bit of thinking about it. If you have any uh, ideas what I might or should do, do let me know because I would love to build a lot of things on this map. Now, if nothing works out, 
worst case scenario. Uh, I'm open to ideas, of course, but I could do a few more episodes because I really love this colony and how much time we've put into this as well, starting to build it up, especially all the um, little projects over here. Now we have the metal, we can start building this all up. And I, I don't want to just abandon this colony. However, knowing that update 5 is out already, we could either choose the same map or a different map and still do the beaver venues, the Colosseum and the other things on a different map as well. So yeah, these are the options essentially. Either way, I'm going to put some thought into this. I might put up a poll later and see what you guys think about it. And I, I think whichever way we go, I'm still going to have a lot of fun building either this colony or the next colony. So yeah, very excited to hear what you guys think about or what are your thoughts as well. So um, once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you hopefully in the next one again.